Committed to leave us halfway, you cannot Hallelujah. Mm. You always finish. I've come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. Hallelujah. God is too faithful, too faithful, too faithful to leave you, too faithful to leave me. Yeah, good mean, good, 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 good music. I want to thank God for the life of our brother Nathaniel Bassi. God is too faithful; He cannot leave you. Not at this time; He cannot leave you. Welcome to the weekend tonic. I am your friend and your brother, MSC Oladejo. Today we want to talk about detach. Yeah, detach. We want to talk about detach. God too faithful; He never leaves us. He gives us information. And it passes across uh, instructions to us and direction at every time we needed them. And the direction he is passing and he is passing to us today, detach. Detach. And that's what we're sharing today together. So you're welcome to this bi-weekly weekend tonic. Now, let me first say this. There are some levels that you cannot attain if you don't leave some other levels. You must leave, if you are trusting God to move to the next level, you must leave the now level. You cannot move to the next level without leaving the present level. And that's what we want to discuss today. You have to detach from a level to move to another level. That is the bone of our discussion today. Can we quickly pray? Father, we thank you for this privilege to share this tonic. Let this tonic bring healing, bring direction. Bring every instruction that every one of us need at this time. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, I hope you have been having a good weekend. I trust that um, 
the weekend we end well. I want to use this time to first appreciate all of those that prayed along with us when we were trusting God in the past uh, few hours, let me say, or few days, or two days, or one day that we were in search and praying for the recovery of our sister. And so I want to appreciate all of you that have joined us in that prayer, and we thank God that we are just in just for about a few hours, we shall be taking a delivery, the husband shall be taking a delivery at home. All right, so detach, detach, that is the topic we are treating today. And like I said, there are some levels you cannot get to if you don't detach from some levels. Most times we want to move to the next level, but we don't want to sentimentally leave some places. We don't want to leave some people and we don't want to leave some things we have been used to doing right and sincerely you cannot you cannot in any way move to any next level if you don't first detach from the present level and that's what we are discussing today we are discussing this today and that is the uh uh, uh the major text I would like to share with us in discussing this today is Genesis chapter 12. Genesis chapter 12. In Genesis chapter 12, you see God instructing Abraham, the father of our, uh, our blessings, the one that bagged first the blessing that God had given to uh, this generation that came through Jesus Christ and that we are now claiming blessings through. And so God told Abraham, God told him that he needed to detach because it was time for Abraham to move to the next level. So anytime it is important and you know it's necessary for you to move on from, from one level to another level, you must detach from that present level. But most of us, we love to be sentimentally attached to that level we are and we don't want to move so how will you go ahead how will you move ahead how will you go to the next level if you are not detaching from your present level there are some places you must consciously detach from some places you must consciously leave some people you must consciously leave if and you know you see you see we get too emotional with some places with some people with some things we're doing we get too emotional with them and so this is just what we want to discuss today. Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 4. Let me quickly read that passage to you now. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. So Abraham departed. You will see Abraham detaching from where he used to be, from people he used to live with. Wow. Even from the things he used to do, he needed to detach so that he would move to the next level in life. A normal person is never to be satisfied. Never. If you are a normal person, you are not meant to be satisfied with same level in life. You should not be satisfied. What God you know, told Abraham was to detach, was to leave the people, leave the place, and leave the things he was doing in those days. And you will notice that after Abraham left, his life changed, he moved to the next level. And so if you are indeed willing to go to any next level in life, there are three things you must detach from. Number one, detach from ad ad addiction. Detach from addiction. Yes, I mean addiction. You know, yeah, apparently we can be addicted to good things. It's even possible. I mean, there was nothing bad, and there is nothing bad if you are so attached to your family, 
You are so attached to the emotions of your family. There's nothing bad in that. And God came to Abraham and told Abraham, you've got to detach from this sentiment, from this uh, uh, attachment you have, even with your family, even with your people. You know, so this is what I really want to uh, uh, share with us today in this tonic. If you want to go to the next level of life, you must leave the present level. You must detach from the present level. And so, some definite things to detach from if you must go to the next level, number one, is addiction. Detach from your addictions. If you must go to the next level, there are some people you are addicted to. It is natural. There are some things you are addicted to. It is natural. But like I said, even you can be addicted to good things. You can be addicted. In those days, people got addicted to procreation alone. You know, people in those days of Abraham, when God told Abraham, and even the procreation was not bringing a result. Abraham was also married to Sarai, but the, 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 the procreation, and that was, that was the addiction in those days. If you go through the Bible, you will see, the, I mean, from Genesis chapter, chapter 11, you will see people were addicted, and the Bible will always say, and this begat this, and this uh, went in with the wife, and they begat this. The, 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 the trend in those days was just procreating, 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 right? And Abraham too tried it. Obviously, he had the wife, Sarai, and it wasn't given any, any, any result. No child was coming. They, they, they made effort to procreate too. That was what people were addicted to in doing in those days. So, you must be able to detach from your addictions. It may be good addiction. Addiction is not only, you know, doing bad things. Addiction might also be, you know, a routine. Good thing, right? Good thing you are doing and you are forming a routine out of it. And let me tell you something. You might have formed a routine out of something. What you have formed routine of is your addiction. And that thing, if you don't detach from it, you cannot move to any next level in life. It's not possible. In fact, you cannot get another result if you want to go to doing new things. You want to go to doing or exploring other things. So you've got to detach from your addiction. So they needed to detach. Abraham needed to detach so that he would go to the next level of life. Because himself and the wife, I mean, they were not getting results anyway. So God told them, if you will move on to the next level, detach from what everybody is doing. You don't have to you don't have to keep here you don't have to keep on here because this is what everybody in this area this is what they are doing you are doing it too you are not getting results so he needed to detach not this addiction to a particular thing breeds restriction to the next level when you are addicted and too addicted to a particular thing it restricts you from going to the next level and so you must never be addicted to anything good or bad good or bad don't be addicted to anything you can only become addicted to god you can only become addicted to god because god in god and with god there is no next level right but if you are addicted to good things right there is always better things so if you only stick to that good thing and you you don't leave that good thing it may even be good right if you don't leave it you can't get anything better so what i'm saying is addiction is a restriction to the next level in life whether you are addicted to good things or bad things the second thing that god told abraham apart from addiction was people that cannot you know ladder him to the next level god asked him to leave them god asked him to detach from them so those are the second thing that you must detach from. That's the second thing, sorry, that you must detach from if you must live and move to the next level of life. At any point in time, you must detach from people that cannot be ladder or that cannot become ladder for your next level. You must detach from them. Identifying people that cannot ladder you to the next level and next stage of life is a very, very critical thing in life. You must identify 
people that cannot ladder you to the next level. Most times, we feel so emotionally attached to some people. But you see, the story of success does not allow you to be emotionally attached, too attached to this category of people. Let me tell you just, just about two or three categories of people you must not be emotionally attached to. If not, you will never move to any next level. This category of people, number one, people that despire and don't aspire. People that despire and don't aspire, you know, physically or spiritually. People that don't inspire you. People that only despire and they don't inspire you. Why, what are you doing around those that are not inspiring you either physically or spiritually? What are you doing around them? They will never make you to move to the next level. Abraham was with his family, his clan, his kindred. But they had no inspiration they were giving him. And God actually saw that this set of people Abraham was, they were not giving him any inspiration. Rather, they were despairing. They were people that were only, you know, I mean, Abraham was, 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 was still expecting to procreate too, like all of them were doing. He had a wife, but he was not getting result. You know, so all the people around me, around him could only despair. They were not inspiring him. And God said, move out, leave this set of people. People that despair can never inspire you onto any positive thing. You know, to despair is to abandon hope. People that easily give up, then they can't inspire you to the next level. You have to detach from them. You have to detach from people that have no truth in them. People that have no truth, people that have lying spirit, they are the people you must detach from because they can't move you to the next level with God. People that, that hate change, people that hate change, they are another set of people you must detach from if you want to move. If somebody loves to do the same thing all over and all over again, and that's your closest friend, that's your closest spouse, the person hates to change. You know, change, they say, is the most constant thing. And so if there's someone around you that any little thing and the person cannot just change, you got to leave such a person. Such a person, living with such a person or befriending such a person can never move you to the next level. So detach from people that can never ladder you. People that can never make you to become, you know, uh, uh, to get any, 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 any grace to move to the next level. And listen to this. Listen to this. Some people get to be too contented with same things over a long period of time. What are you doing with such people? You must detach from them. You know, you must detach from them. And the third thing that I'll share with you today so that you can move to any next level in life. The third thing you must detach from, you must detach from places that will not support your future productivity. Yes, God actually told Abraham, leave your country. Yes, God knew that that country will never support Abraham's future productivity. And God told him, leave your country. Yes, somebody say, will say, somebody will say, am I saying you should leave Nigeria? Well, if that is what will support your future, if God is backing it, this one, God was backing Abraham. Listen to me, and that's the truth. Don't let's be sentimental about it. It is not everybody that will make it in Nigeria. So make people will make it for a while in Nigeria. And some people, it's not everybody that will make it outside Nigeria. Some people will make it halfway outside Nigeria, and they have to make it full blown in Nigeria. So the most important thing is for you to know the location where God wants you to be, that will be very productive for your future. The place that will not support your future productivity, you must leave that place. Maybe it's a job you are doing. Maybe it's a, future, it's, it's a business you are doing. And that business and that place and that country is not going to help your future productivity. Detach. Don't be sentimentally attached. Detach from that place. God told Abraham, leave your people in fact, God was specifically 
specifically saying, leave your country. He was specifically saying that to Abraham. Leave your country. Most times, emotion makes us to stay in our countries. Emotion makes us not to want to break off from our people, not to want to detach from our people. Emotive, you know, people, you know, they, they get too glued. And that's why I talk of, of, of addiction, you know, at the first time. Get, when you get too glued, too addicted to a people, too addicted, to a place too addicted to doing a thing, you can never go to the next level. You can never. You can never. And I've talked about people too. People that cannot ladder you to the next level. Detach from them. And lastly, places that will not support your future productivity. You've got to detach from such places. If your country has no sign that it owes a future for you and your descendants, God told Abraham, God said, you see, the, the place I want to bless you and your descendants is not this country. It's not among your people. You've got to leave. You've got to detach from this country. And let me tell you, don't let's be sentimental. Don't, you say, don't let anybody play with your future. Don't let anybody use sentiment to say, ah, you are leaving Nigeria. Ah, you want to leave your fatherland. No, 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 no. God told Abraham specifically, leave your country. And so if your country has no sign that it holds a future for you and your descendants, why must you keep playing sentiment? Why must you play, keep you know, playing around with your future now? Even God was not sentimental with Abraham's future. God was factual. He wasn't sentimental at all. So you've got to know. You've got to know. As long as God promises you know, to be with you, Anywhere you are in the, in, on earth, anywhere you are on earth, you can make it. As long as you have God's promise that he will be with you. Anywhere you are on earth, where your future will be very much determined and where your future productivity will really come out, then move on there. If it is Nigeria, stay. Don't go anywhere. If it is not Nigeria, begin to plan to relocate. Yeah. Yeah. Begin to plan to relocate. Consider these three things. Walk by them. Because your future is most paramount to God. God is most, in, most interested in your next level in life. And you must not play with it. Because you are too addicted to some things or to some places or to some people. You must not play with your future. Your future is very important to God. Detach from what you should detach from now, detach from the people you should detach from now, detach from the place you should detach from now. People that cannot ladder you to the next level. Detach, detach. Make the Lord give you wisdom to know what to do part time. Thank you for being part of this weekend tonic. I look forward to having you always again. Tomorrow is going to be like a continuation because I can't go beyond this time. Tomorrow will be like a continuation as we're talking about shift to win in tomorrow's service. I wish that you will join us in service tomorrow. God bless you. I look forward to you every time we are connected online. Stay blessed. Have a good weekend. Remember that God loves you for the next level. Don't play with your future. Thank you for being part of this. Have a good weekend.